gets us up, all right. Control room, any sign yet at the undersea lab? Negative, Admiral. But there's an unidentified sub playing tag with us. She's ignored our recognition signals, and uh, she's running silent. Mm hmm You think there's any connection between the uh, submarine and the sea lab? Yes, I think there is. The sub could be running supplies there. What do you plan to do? We'll run silent ourselves and take evasive action until we can determine what she's up to. Very well. we we'll keep them informed, huh? Right. What do you read now? It's off our port quarter, sir. Bearing 310 degrees relative. Range 300 yards. That's too close. Pass the word to rig for silent running. All right. Now, hear this. All hands rig for silent running. No unnecessary movement in the ship. Engineering, stop all engines. Aye, sir.
Okay. This is the exec. Give me a damage control report. Engineering report. All right, Todd. Get somebody to work on it. All right, sir. Kowalski, Patterson. What do you think? There's no way to evaluate the damage, but it doesn't look good at all. I tried to reach you on an intercom, sir. I know it's broken. What's your report? Not very good, sir. The engine room was flooded. We had to seal it off. Did everybody get out? Most of them, yes, sir. We lost two men. I see. Any other flooding? Yes, sir. At least three compartments between the missile room and the engine room. And there's a weakened bulkhead along the number four companionway. If that caves in, sir, we... we don't have a chance. And get a shoring detail on it right away. Try to save it. All right, sir. All right, you guys, come on. I've got Kowalski and Patterson checking the intercom line. There's a short somewhere. What's happened to the Admiral? I haven't seen him since the collision. Well, now that you mention it, neither have I. I'm going to look for him. Take over. I'm looking for him. No, sir. Oh, wait a minute, Skipper. One of the work gang in the flooded engine room said something about the Admiral helping him out down there. You might find him in that direction. Thanks. I'll take a look.
Still settling on the bottom. I think that other sub rammed us on purpose. Oh, I doubt it. They had to be hurt as bad as we are by the collision. You know, I was wondering, Ski. You think we'll get out of this one? I don't know. I thought so at first, but but now I'm not so sure. Me either. I wonder how much time we've got. I don't know that either. Let's get out of here. <coughs> right. <coughs> uh, what's going on here? We had a fire in there, sir. It's all out now. Have either of you seen the Admiral? He was here a few minutes ago, sir. He went that way. Oh, thanks. Carry on. All right, sir. breaking up. What happened to him, sir? <coughs> Thanks. Thanks, Lee. He'll be okay. No. I'm, I'm all right now. No, you better take it easy. No, no. I tell you, I'm all right. The first thing we need is a complete rundown on the situation. Have you got it? Uh, not yet. With the intercom out, it's slow work. Sir, about the intercom. Yes. We found it short in the main line. That's what caused the fire. Well, how long to repair? All we have to do is splice in a new section of cable. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Then jump to it. We need that intercom. Aye, right, sir. Come on, Pat. Let's get under dry clothes and meet in the control room. Right? Corridor 4. Report your condition. Shoring completed at frame 40, sir. Looks to me like the bulkhead's gonna hold. Very well. Post a man to watch the bulkhead and report back here to the control room. Aye, aye, sir. I'll release one more compartment. Cruise quarters aft. Report your condition. Cruise quarters aft. Tight and dry, sir. Very well. Carry on. Aye, sir. Well, You've got the whole picture, Admiral. Mm, not exactly a pretty one. Three compartments flooded, including the engine room. Twelve men missing, presumed dead. Four men injured. And the big question is still, can we get off the bottom? Well, both the engines and the ballast tank pumps are out of commission. The first job is to get those pumps working fast. I've already got full crews on the job, but it could take them until morning. Do we have that much time? But no more than six hours of air. <sighs> six hours. That's not enough time. It'll have to be. Anything? No, sir. Nothing but interference. It's almost like we were being jammed. <sighs> what about that sub that rammed us? Even if that sub were right beside us, sir, I couldn't make contact through this interference. How much longer should I keep trying? Until further orders. You want me to get a man to relieve you? No, no, no. I'm okay, Mr. Morton. We need every hand we can spare to work on those ballast pumps. You can say that again. Patterson? <sighs> Nothing, sir. Nothing but static. No communication with that sub? No, sir. It's the same as before. Can send or receive. Keep at it. 
Bless you. Oh, Mr. Morton. Where's the skipper? He and the Admiral are making a personal inspection of the entire ship. Now, what about the ballast pump detail? We've still got a long way to go, sir. Stay with it. Aye, sir. Where's the progress down there? We couldn't do better, sir. We're almost out of time. Yes, sir, I know. We're working as fast as possible. We found the jammed gear in the starboard tanks. We can't do anything until we free it, sir. Where's the jammed gear? Between frames 51 and uh, 53, sir. 51 and 53? Well, it's almost impossible to get any gears at that point. <sighs> yes, sir, we sure found that out. We sent a man through the main circuit to reach it. You let a man crawl through there? Yes, sir, he volunteered. Well, he knows there are high-voltage wires running through there. Yes. Volunteers Clark, the best electricians make we have in the cruiser. Uh, show us where he's working. Right, sir. This way. job that has to be done now. Everybody aboard is going to be dead. How long has it been in there? A few minutes, sir. Mm-hmm. They should have reached the valve by now.
Doc's arm isn't broken, sir. Doc is giving him some kind of treatment for the lacerations. Mm -hmm. Very good, Chief. Well, what were you saying about the main induction valve? It's cracked. I saw it when I reached Clark. I was wondering if anything could be rigged up to uh, replace it. Uh, I think so. Give, give me that, uh, Yes. It's gonna take time, but there's no help for that. Ballast tanks don't work without the induction valve. Chief, I'm gonna need your help with this. Yes, sir. I'll be in the control room if you need me, Anna. Right. Now, let's see just how good your machinists are, huh? Yes, sir. Level with me, Lee. What do you think? It's pretty bad. Unless those pumps can be fixed within an hour or two, we'll be out of air. And uh, 20 minutes after that, there won't be a man left alive in this ship. It's not very pretty. Well, there's not much left we can do but wait. What time do you have? Oh, 0600. Uh, it's daylight. Open the collision screen. I don't think you should. Engineering wants them closed until they get a full report on the hull damage. Uh, I guess they're right. What are you trying to find out there? The sub that ran into us. They couldn't have survived that blast any more than we did. Let's check the TV scanner. If the other sub's anywhere near us, it'll probably be in our forward area. Start the sweep there. just as well. Try the port sector. Nothing. Try stopping. Look at that. That's the sea lab we're looking for. This explains a few things. You think we were deliberately sunk? It's possible. The other sub was obviously stationed around here because of that line. What's the lab used for? I don't know. But whatever it is, somebody's going to a lot of trouble to keep it a secret. Patterson, now there's a deep sea lab just off our starboard bow. Can't be more than a couple of hundred yards away. Do you think you can raise them on radio? I'll try, sir. This is Seaview calling. SSRN Seaview. We have you in visual range. Do you read me? Repeat. Do you read me? We're being jammed. Hi, sir. That's all we can receive. I imagine the same thing's happening to our transmission. The sea lab. The jamming could be coming from there. There's not much doubt about that. Take over. I'm going to check this out with the admiral. There's nothing else we can do right now. I think I ought to investigate. Well, so do I. That's our, that's our primary mission, to locate the sea lab and find out what it's doing there. Now, there's just one problem. Are there people in that installation? Or is the jamming done automatically? Well, if I had to guess, I'd say automatically. But uh, like there's, there's only one way to find out. Chief. Sir? I'm taking out a diving party. At this depth? Mm. With a special helium mixture in our tanks, we'll be all right. There'll be three of us. Get the necessary gear. Aye, sir. You probably have an air supply in the sea lab. I want you to tap it so we can just keep alive till we finish repairs. We've ripped the air hose, so we can pick it up just outside the escape hatch. Now, how much hose do we have? 2,500 feet. That's fine. Let's go.
See if you can raise them. Aye, sir. See if you deny this. This is Sharky. Can you read me, Skipper? Loud and clear, Chief. Uh, what's the situation? What's your situation, sir? We've got a clear visual fix on the Sea Lab. And we're approaching the... Kowalski. Bannister. General, get back! Chief! Where are you? Can you still read me? Come in! It's all around us. It's... it's no... Developing at the Sea Lab. Admiral, that, that thing ate them. Swallowed them alive like so many fish. They still got the air hose. We can hook our end up to the winch and drag them back. No. The air hose is not strong enough. It'll just snap. Devil's that. There's a skipper in there. Patterson and Kowalski, too. That thing swallowed him alive. Skipper, can you read me? Skipper, can you read me? I... I can't get any answers, so not even static. They're all dead. We don't know that yet. That's the ventilation alarm. What's the verdict, sir? Bad. But less than an hour left. Uh, Chief. Sir? How much air did the diving body have in their tanks? Well, they left here, sir, enough to last them for an hour. Well, at least we'll, uh, we'll all go together. Stow the knives. But how do we get out of here? We have a chance. Maybe, but not in here. This way. Come on, this way. Engineering just machined this induction valve according to the sketch you gave them. They want you to look it over before they install it. All right, let's have a look. Will it work, sir? It should. Yeah. Yeah, it should. Come to go ahead, but be careful installing it. There are electrical circuits all over that area. One more fire will use up the little oxygen we have remaining. All set? Aye, sir. All right, hurry, hurry. Do you think we still have a chance, sir? Yeah, I have a fair one. It's still 40 minutes of air left. If the induction valve works, we should be able to blow ballast and surface before air is exhausted. What about that thing outside? No, you, we get off the bottom, it's liable to attack us the same way it did the diving party. I'm aware of that. That's why I want you to load deck missiles one and four and stand by, ready to fire. Deck missile, sir? It could blow that thing out there to bits. <laughs> that is the, uh, the general idea. Yeah, well, what about the skipper and the other two? It, it could kill them, too. 
I thought you were convinced they're already dead. Yes, sir, but... Well, there still is a chance, you know. I mean... Isn't there? Will you just load them? Skipper, it's getting worse all the time. I'll see what it's like up ahead. You want us with you? No. Wait here. Please, sir. Be careful, don't take any chances. You all right? Yes, sir. I'm okay. supply is dangerously low. No moving around and no talking. Chief Sharky. Sharky here. Chief, there are oxygen tanks in the diving gear locker. You're authorized to use them to stay on your feet. Me, sir? What about the men? If we're going to save this ship, three of us will have to remain conscious. It's you, Mr. Morton, myself. Here's a standby the missile firing system. Carry on. Aye, sir.
Secretary Room. Secretary Room, I. This is the Admiral. Advise me immediately the fire's out and you've been able to install the valve. Aye, sir. Chief, stand by. Fire deck missiles one and four. Please to inside that creature alive. You think, you think I don't know that? Stand by the fire. Admiral, what about the diving party if we fire now? Stand by to fire. Friends. Here, they got the other end inside that creature. Isn't, isn't there something we can pump through to them? Something that would help those divers get out of there. If we could pump air through the hose, it might irritate the creature enough to expel the divers. We could attach it to the air revitalizer pump. We're about out of air now. That would use up the last of it. Chief, attach the hose to the air revitalizing pump. Aye, sir. Set the controls on automatic. We'll watch it on sonar. It's too late, so we've got a fire. Admiral, it's done. We're pumping the air. Very well. You know something? This had better work. So far. 
Chief, are you still pumping air? Aye, sir. Still pumping. I don't know, sir. Wait a minute. Look, those are splits. It's a diving party. <laughs> They're off! Diving party back aboard, sir. Stand by to fire missiles. Aye, sir. Standing by. Killed it. It's too bad we had to destroy the sea lab in the process. Now, I suppose we'll never know what they were up to down there. That's easy enough to guess. They're probably working on some new strain of Portuguese man of war. So how the experiment got away from them and produced this monstrosity. That's only a guess we don't know for sure. Oh, I'm not complaining. Until you picked us up out of the water, I never expected to know anything again. No. Neither did anyone else. Thank you.